Good morning to all staff, parents, members of the viewing public, and a special good morning to the graduating class of Form 5 and 6 of 2021. I wish to welcome you all to today's valedictory service for our Bishop Anstey High School students. I am extremely happy to be here today to say farewell to a very special group of young ladies. This has truly been a unique year, one that will be remembered in the history books. This was the year that Bishop Anzi High School celebrated its 100th anniversary in January. The year 2020 to 2021 was also the academic year in which we had our first group of students attend school virtually, participating in classes online for an entire academic year. This group of Form 5 and Form 6 students will go down in history as being the first batch of students to graduate after successfully completing 50, 15 months of online instruction. This was no easy feat. The challenge was accepted and our girls rose to the occasion. In 2019, the graduating upper six class declared themselves to be the generation of change. Then in 2020, students of the Bishop Ansi High School chose the theme, Revolutionary Women, to describe themselves and the BAHS legacy after 100 years of existence. The students recognized that the average Bishop Anstey girl had, had evolved over time and would continue in, to evolve and would continue to evolve in order to survive. No one could have imagined back in early 2020, before the pandemic hit, what changes we would be forced to make in such a, in such a short space of time. No one would have guessed that teachers and students would have been forced to evolve rapidly in order to survive and thrive in the new virtual online environment. However, our students and our teachers proved themselves to be revolutionary individuals. They all stepped up to face the challenges of online learning, tackled the problems as they emerged, and remained focused, keeping their eyes on the prize. They have shown that they have indeed internalized the words of our school motto, non sine pulvere palmam. There is no victory without hard work, not without the dust, the palm. And there was a lot of dust, but that makes the reward so much sweeter. Ladies, we, your teachers and your parents, we are all extremely proud of you and confident that you will succeed in whatever field you decide to enter. They say that the only constant in life is change. You have demonstrated to us all, your parents and your teachers, that you are able to deal with whatever changes life throws your way. Romans chapter 20 verses 10 to 16 reminds us that we need to love one another with mutual affection. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. All of these things, girls, we, your teachers and your parents, have seen you do all of these things in the past year. The way in which you have tackled your work, faced your problems, and most importantly, the way in which you have cared for each other, reached out to your friends to offer support during this pandemic. It was amazing to witness. Our school reading, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 9, reminds us to rejoice in all things rejoice. Do not worry about anything, but through prayer, prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, we can make our desires known to God and his peace be, will be with us. Parents, God's peace will be with these girls. And so, 
As our Form 6 girls shouted out on the day of their farewell assembly, Hello world! Hello world! We gift to you the Form 5 and Form 6 students of Bishop Ansi High School. They are a gentle group, but they are marvelously strong, gifted and caring, and they are ready for you world. They will greet you with a smile and with unbounded enthusiasm, with courage and with a faith that will sustain them and keep them grounded. So, hello world, here is the graduating class of 2021. Good day everyone and welcome to our virtual valedictory service for Bishop Annecy High School. We welcome you into the midst in these difficult and challenging times, uh, even as we try to do those things that we must. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of life. We give you thanks for this new day. We ask that your holy presence will be with us as we engage in this activity. That all that will be done will be to your honor and glory and be to the lifting up of our girls. Pray, Lord, that you will just continue to watch over us, that you will continue to protect all those whose work is dangerous, that you will continue to bring us out of this pandemic into those things that you desire for us. We ask, Lord, that you will help us to learn the lessons that are necessary, and that you will help us, above all, to perceive your will, and having perceived it, that you will help us to perform it. For we ask these things in no other name but the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we pray. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and to your saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, 
but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. I speak to you in the name of the triune God, the Father who creates, the Son who redeems, and the Holy Spirit who sustains. Amen. We find ourselves in, in these unusual circumstances. We're having another valedictory service while we are in lockdown in the midst of a state of emergency. And while exams are going on, uh, school is closed but not closed. Uh, we have virtual learning and things continue to be difficult. I will have chosen this passage because it speaks to what we must be and do in the midst of these circumstances in which we find ourselves. And there is this real sense in which this valedictory service and this graduating class continues the pioneering work which will have been begun last year. No one knew for sure how long this would last and we understand now that COVID will be with us for some time. And I'm more concerned about us learning the lessons that COVID-19 has to teach us, about us being willing uh, not to look back at what was and to, to hearken for those things, to yearn for those things, but for us to look forward to what is before us so that we are able really to continue to enjoy life in the way that God intended. A lot of persons have had their minds changed about what is important. Uh, we understand now just how important the frontline workers, the persons we took for granted, how important they are in the scheme of things. We understand now how important the family unit and, and, and even more so how much the things that we take for granted, how important those things are. Things like being able to hug the ones we love, uh, being able to see them face to face, to gather as families. And so there is this real sense that as we come into this moment, as we come into to another group, leaving this institution in the midst of not knowing exactly what the future holds, I would put it to us that, that what the future depends on is our attitude. You are going into a space, into a world that is completely unwritten. You're going to have make to make choices that persons have not ever had to make. You're going to have to find avenues of activity that persons are not accustomed with. And really, what will help you in that process is the way that you approach life and hence the passage. It's one that we're familiar with, but it's one that I think that we take for granted. Of course, Paul says to the Philippians, give thanks to God in all things. Not give thanks when things are good and when we are comfortable or when we are sure, but in all things. He says with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And he makes a promise, a promise which I firmly believe all of us need. He says, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep and guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. It's possible in the midst of the storm to be at peace to not have your eye be on the storm, but have your eye be on Jesus. And in fact, in the Gospels, there is an incident that is recorded 
Uh, I really absolutely love it now because of some questions that have been asked about it. And Jesus and his disciples, they're crossing the lake and a storm whips up the boat. The boat is beginning to take in water, but the disciples are panicking and Jesus is at, asleep in the stern of the boat. And they shake him and they wake him up and they say, well, Lord, do you not care that we are perishing? And he says to them, have you no faith? And he speaks to the wind and the wind is calmed. And the question that I was asked was this, well, where did you see yourself on the boat? And after thinking about it for some time, I basically said to folks, well, I want to be sleeping next to Jesus, sure that everything is taken care of. Paul writes what he does because he wants us to come to this understanding that when we put things in God's hands, we need not worry about them in the same way. We need be expectant and looking to God for the answers. And that attitude, that approach is going to be the thing that makes the difference between us descending into chaos and us achieving the things that God has made possible by this pandemic. It's always going to be a two-edged sword. It's always going to bring difficulty and challenge, but it's always going to bring opportunity and the possibility that things will improve. And so I pray that we will come to that place where we look at everything that is before us in the way that Paul suggests. Of course, he says that whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, Whatever is excellent and worthy of praise, that those are the things that we are meant to think about. And there's a simple kind of equation because the more that we think about the positive things, the things that are honorable, true, and just, and excellent, the more we want to attain to those things and to raise ourselves to those things. But God will not force us to choose. God will allow us to, to focus on what we want to focus on and the things that we focus on, those are the things that will bear fruit. So to this graduating class of 2021, I say to you, focus on the things that God has set before you, on the true and just and good things, the honorable things that you will have learned as a part of this institution. Allow yourselves to be wrapped up in a vision of God controlling your life that allows you not to be afraid of what tomorrow brings, but to use today wisely. And if you make each today a day that you have lived for God and lived for God well, tomorrow will take care of itself. Don't go away and say that Father said not to plan. That's not it. But the attitude that you have as you plan will allow you to depend on God today so that tomorrow will be better. I pray that the things that we will have taught you in this place, that you will have learned as a part of this institution, that those things will hold you in good stead as you go into life. I pray that you will accept the sisterhood that you are a part of and that you will make that sisterhood better and that you will allow yourselves truly to participate in the legacy that is the Hilarion legacy in a way that continues to contribute positively to our nation, to your own families and homes, and above all to this institution that will have been a big part of your life. Continue, of course, in all things to put your trust in God and to seek his will above everything else, knowing that if you do that, the promise is that God will add all things onto you. Allow me to also congratulate you on your achievements and to wish you all the best in the future. The Lord be with you.
Good day to Canon Jacob, Mrs. Govaya, our acting principal, Dr. Adams, acting vice principal, members of staff, parents and family, students, as we gather virtually to give a hearty congratulations to the Bishop Anstey High School Form 5 graduating class of 2021. We can all agree that the events of the past year and a half can be summed up in one word, unprecedented. COVID-19 has forced almost all of the students of the world, including those here in Trinidad, to make the shift from the physical classroom to that of the virtual realm via Zooms and Google Meets in order to engage with their teachers and their peers. This meant that mere months into their second term of Form 4, this graduating year group went home to finish another year's worth of work in order to complete syllabi for numerous subject areas. It has been a long, daunting, arduous experience filled with stress, anxiety, and more than a few tears, but they have persevered. In the Bible, it is stated in the book of James, verse 1, chapter 12, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. And this has certainly been such a test, one which our girls have faced, and I have no doubt they have passed. Their strength in the face of adversity has made all of us, and I am sure you, their parents and families, extremely proud. This is a turning point in the lives of these students, one which may lead them right back here to us in sixth form, perhaps elsewhere to another school. Some may possibly enter the world of work or take some time before moving on to the next challenge. But whatever path they choose, I hope that they shed the many negatives of this past year, the frustrations, the feelings of isolation and the many times they may have wanted to give up. Instead, I hope our girls focus on their great ability, dogged determination, and the feeling of triumph that they should feel of having completed examinations in what is likely one of the greatest challenges mankind has faced since the last World War, which ended in the late 1940s. At Bishop Anstey High School, we are known for producing girls who are described as vocal, sometimes to the point of vociferous, and all-rounded, as their intelligence is matched by their talent. Our girls are such that they flourish, not only while they are here at our institution, but also when they move on to many other phases in their lives, as they carry out all that they do with excellence. I do not fear for them. Even in these uncertain times, they are willful and passionate, a combination which can face any obstacle put before them. In closing, I would again like to say to my girls that you have overcome and shall continue to do so. I believe in you, as do your parents and all of your teachers, and we wish you the very best in the future that awaits you. I expect it will be bright and full of new experiences that you will be sure to conquer. Congratulations. On behalf of our year group, this is our token appreciation to you for the past two years of your hard work and dedication towards us and for the lovely support that you give to us each and every day. Thank you very much. Yeah. Things are just never said, no Remembers my name That 
means I've made a change I'm the man who cooks the food and feeds the street people in the afternoon I'm the lady with the broom sweeping the halls of your son's preschool I'm the soldier who's up all night making sure everything's alright if you ask me, I'm quite fine Being an ordinary person, doing what's right Yesterday at the football game A little girl asked me my name She said, sir, I've seen you before Tell me, who are you? I said, I am a legend That you never heard of before I said, I am a lion But you never heard me go I am a hero person remembers my name That means on the ocean of fame I'm an unknown sailor I'm the percussionist playing with the whalers The one with the shaker, the mover and shaker My name wasn't on the front of the paper But me not cater Much more than the worker, the work is greater Creation glorifies creator so all deeds done are in the name of my maker I am a legend That you probably never hear about My words from the lion's mouth I am a hero that nobody celebrates But if one person remembers my name Give praise, that means I made a change Ordinary person just like you If you take a look inside You see the great things that people do We out here changing lives Day and night, day in, day out BBC don't show it CNN don't show it He's out
up here today Tell me who is to be blamed And does it matter anyway Take a look around Open up your eyes and see Now's the time to make a difference Be the change you want to see Do you remember a time when we used to love? Yeah. With a strength in we heart we rise above yeah. So what would it take to recapture? Acting Principal Ms. Ingrid Gavaya, Acting Vice Principal Ms. Adams, teachers, parents, fellow graduate students, good morning. The honor of becoming valedictorian was never part of my plan, but when I was nominated and chosen, I decided in that moment to embrace the title that was bestowed upon me. With that being said, I felt it was important to have a goal. My goal today is simple. I stand here ready to remind us all that we have made it. We are all aware of what has happened this past year and a half. The COVID-19 virus has shut down the entire world. All normal routines have been turned on their heads and somewhere along the line, this new normal became no longer abnormal. Restaurants, entertainment centers, and places of worship have all been closed and we are no longer allowed entry. The once filled dining room, corridors, and pews are now bare. Our once busy streets have been muted and our population has suffered tremendous loss. Jobs, homes, loved ones. This has been a time like no other. Yet, here we are at our valedictory service. Yes, it is nothing like we had imagined. We face the reality of having spent an entire year of school, out of school, but in school. No friends, no extracurricular activities, no social life, but we, you, me, each and every one of us survived. We are privileged to be able to say we live to fight another day. The lessons we learned this past year will never be forgotten. We are living proof that what doesn't kill does fatten or make stronger. Like the Phoenix and the oppressed, we have arisen and continue to rise every day. We have struggled with every form of ache from long hours of online classes. Eye ache, headache, backache, heartache but now it's not but now is not the time to be sad and pout about all the things we might have missed out on or suffered through but to rejoice that we are still here to make memories i am sure that we have all relearned the importance of family friendship and faith we have relearned that none of us would be here without the love and support of our family and friends in fact I would like to also take this time to extend a special salute to all the parents, siblings, extended family members, and guardians who ensure that internet bills were paid on time and devices acquired, provided us with meals, and supported us mentally and emotionally during this time. To those of you who have to supervise your younger siblings or cousins and still navigate your own online classes, I salute you. To those of you who spent hours alone whilst your parents were out, essential workers or frontline workers, I salute you. To those of you who lost loved ones, endured lower incomes, days without food or lack of laptop or devices to attend classes, I am truly sorry for your loss. To the teachers and administrators that kept it all together, learned new skills and shared the intimacy of your homes and lives with us, I salute you. You are the unsung heroes of this story. For me personally, the time spent online was quite stressful and I really could not have made it without God's help. Only with him and through him, all things became possible. I am aware that everyone may not subscribe to this view, However, whatever higher being that you may believe in deserves praise for all that you have been through, are going through, and are yet to go through. To God be the glory. Lastly, whenever there are stumbling blocks in your path, each of us may respond differently. I want to remind you that we should never let any turbulence in life vitiate our aspirations. Instead, we should learn the hard lessons, gain the necessary knowledge, and continue to move forward. As Dory said, just keep sewing. 
Keep pressing forward no matter what. Graduating class of 2021, never stop pursuing your goals. Use the new skills and character traits obtained during this trying period to make you better equipped to face future challenges. According to Vinut, an acclaimed motivational author, not giving up requires a certain level of patience, of hours and hours and sometimes days or weeks, months or years, of trying and perfecting. The mind is an exceptionally powerful thing. It can either be your greatest asset or worst adversary. We sometimes allow our own minds to plant seeds of self-doubt, worry and insecurity. But there's an old African proverb which states, when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do no harm. We must not allow this self-sabotage to continue. Developing and maintaining a positive mindset is one of the greatest skills you can acquire. We can do all things if we believe we can. We can do anything we set our minds to. To conclude, I leave you with these words of advice. Every now and then, step back, take a deep breath, stretch, and then return to the challenge at hand. Additionally, keep these in mind. A German poet stated, it's a reaction to adversity, not adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. Sometimes we think that our mistakes will inhibit us from achieving our goals. However, Tiffany Muhl explains, it's okay to begin your story today. Those mistakes you've made along the way are lessons, not failures. You were meant to get back up and find a way that resonates with you. There is no expiration date to reinventing yourself. Peers, friends, sisters, we survived bishops and online learning through a pandemic. We can do anything. Use the blessing of life that God has given you. Make it count. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021.
Good morning, everyone, and a special good morning and congratulations to our graduating class of 2021. Today, I would like to speak on two concepts that I think you should embrace as you continue on your journey of life. The first is that of being a good citizen, and the second is that of volunteerism. Many of our students here at Bishop Ansi High School are familiar with the term good citizenship as it is an award given to upper six students during the award ceremony. This award is given to students who demonstrate general helpfulness. However, the term good citizenship goes even further than helpfulness. Let's examine some of the key areas behind good citizenship that you can embrace as you move into adulthood. A good citizen is patriotic. As Trinis, we all know how to be patriotic. As a student going anywhere outside of Trinidad and Tobago to study, you will have your national flag with you. You will carry along your favorite Trini snacks. You will support your country at various sporting events and you know the history of your country. Can the same be applied to your school? Can you be a patriot of Bishop Anstey High School? I think you can. In Form 1, you learned a host of information about your school. Do you remember the history of the buildings, the past principles? Can you sing the school song and school hymn without a songbook? More importantly, ladies, will you commit to helping your school in whatever way you can, be it financially or giving of your time and effort? A good citizen will look back at their school and say, I can adopt a student in financial need. I can offer my networking skills to help with sourcing materials for a particular project or simply I can support this particular fundraising activity. These are just some of the suggestions as to how you can be a good citizen. To demonstrate good citizenship, you must model good personal qualities. Our students, when they leave here, have a range of good personal qualities, but these same qualities need help to grow. An inventory of good personal qualities include honesty, which is the ability to tell the truth, integrity, to be morally upright, to be responsible and respectful of others, to show compassion, to be kind, tolerance, to be tolerant of other races and religions, to be courteous, to be self-disciplined so that you have self-control, and you cultivate the ability to follow through and what you say you're doing. And finally, though there are many others, we can add to the list moral courage. That is the ability to stand up for what you consider to be wrong and defend those who cannot defend themselves. Good citizens are mentors to children. Our children are the future of our nation. Volunteer to mentor at a school, your school. Be well-rounded. This means be well-read, be well-educated, develop not just your mental faculties, but your emotional, spiritual, and physical faculties. So, revolutionary women, what is volunteerism? It is the policy or practice of volunteering one's time or talents for charitable, educational or other worthwhile activities, especially in one's community. While many sixth form students will be familiar with the term volunteerism, especially in the context of their university applications, it goes even further. Volunteering can help you make friends, you can help you make and learn new skills, advance your career, and help you feel happier and healthier. It can reduce stress, combat depression, keep you mentally stimulated, and at the end of the day, provide a sense of purpose. So ladies, 
as we reminisce today on another completed leg of your journey and prepare to take flight to new destinations. Please keep in mind all the lessons you have learned here at Bishop Anstey High School and also try to live the two qualities that I introduced to you today. Non sine pulveri palma. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good, good. Um, miss, we have a, so a token to thank you for your hard work and dedication. And on behalf of the Form 6 year group, we want to thank you for guiding us through this long journey, this two year journey, and making us feel comfortable and helping us with our mental health and your, with your kind words of wisdom. Yes, Miss, and thank you for never ever forgetting us, Miss. You always check up on <laughs> us, Miss, even when we give you trouble. Thank you, Miss. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is um, very much a surprise <laughs> and I appreciate it. Um, this group, I have worked with them for a long time because I knew you all from lower down in Form 1 and 2. So, and it has been really, really a pleasure working with this group. Yes. So, thank you so much. Oh, 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 
To Mrs. Govaya, the acting vice, the acting principal, Mrs. Adams, acting vice principal, teachers, students, stakeholders, parents and guardians, and last but not least, the graduating class of 2021. Good morning and thank you for tuning in to our stream. Let me first start by extending my gratitude to be able to stand here this morning to represent my Form 6 peers. It is truly an honor. The past seven years at Bishop Anstey High School, or two years for some of us, has truly been an adventurous and an interesting journey, to say the least. I am certain that this was not the way we envisioned our departure from this institution. In the words of some of my peers, Form 6 was supposed to be a movie, and I couldn't agree more. While our film did begin as expected in September 2019, filled with lots of camaraderie, lunchtime gossip sessions, hard work, and lots of tears, of course. Unfortunately, it abruptly ended when we were hit by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. What was supposed to be two weeks turned into a year of strenuous online classes and long hours on FaceTime and Zoom with friends. But enough about what we did not get to experience. Today is a day of celebration. Our year group is special for many reasons. The number one reason is that we are graduating in our school's 100th day of existence. What a milestone. As you may or may not know, our theme for the 100th year celebration is Revolutionary Women. When asked to write this speech, I was so nervous because I knew how significant this year is to us Hilarian women. Immediately, I got to work on the internet researching how to write a perfect speech and even binging speech videos. Then it dawned on me that I didn't need to write the perfect speech. And before you gasp, here's why. My year group wasn't perfect. Nobody is. However, that is what makes my peers and I revolutionary women, our inconsistencies and imperfections. Over the years, on occasions, we've been told we're too talkative or that we're too hyper and need to settle down. It is because of our imperfections, however, that we were left room to grow and mature into the young women we are today. No longer are we talkative or hyper, but rather outspoken, ambitious, and persistent young women, three important elements needed in the real world. As we close another chapter in our lives here at Bishop Anstey and transition to the next stage in Jumanji, known as adulting, I would like to thank our teachers and the ancillary staff at Bishop Anstey High School, as these past seven years have been no easy ride. Thank you for not just coming to teach us, but building relationships with us and teaching us important life lessons. They will never be forgotten. Thank you to our parents and guardians for always being there to support us and give us the necessary comfort we need. Finally, a huge thank you to my peers for cheering me up and being some of my biggest supporters. I will never forget the love and advice you shared with me and I will try my utmost best to continue to support you in your future endeavors. As I end, I would like to read a short excerpt from one of my favorite poems that I studied in the last year, entitled Road of the Dread by Lona Goodison. It goes, that there road no pave like any other blackface road. It no have no definite color and it fence two side with live barbed wire. My peers, Life is no easy journey, and it definitely is not a bed of roses. However, wherever you move on to in life, always remember that you are not only a hilarian and are equipped with many strengths, but a revolutionary woman, fearfully and wonderfully made in Christ. There is absolutely nothing you cannot handle. I am truly grateful for my time here spent at Bishop Anstey High School, and I will cherish every moment until the end of time. But there are four words I will continue to cherish throughout my life, and I think that there are four words that my younger peers should learn to appreciate as early as possible. 
They are non sine pulvere palmam. Not without hard work can one reap the rewards. Thank you and congratulations again to the class of 2021. Let us pray. Accept, O oh Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, and for the wonder of life. We thank you for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. On this day, we give you thanks for our graduating class of 2021, for their teachers, for all those who have been a part of their lives, for their families. And we pray, Lord, for their success ongoing. But above all, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus the Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation. We give you thanks for his dying through which he overcame death. We give you thanks for his rising to life again in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit that we may know Christ and that we may make him known. And through him at all times and in all places, we may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Eternal light, shine into our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy upon us, that with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our soul and with all our strength, we may indeed seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your most holy presence. For we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Spirit of truth lead you into all truth. May the Spirit of truth give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of your life and give you the grace to proclaim the word and works of God wherever you may be. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Some things are just never said, no. Take a look inside, see the great things that people do. Changing lives day and night, but nothing I do ever makes the news. Still I have to do what's right to the king of all kings, all praises due. Yesterday I was on a train, a little boy asked me my name. He said, sir, I've seen you before, tell me who are you? Said I am a legend. That you never heard of before. I said I am a lion, but you never heard me roar. I am a hero that nobody celebrates. But if one person remembers my name, that means I made a change. I'm the man who cooks the food and feeds the street people in the afternoon. I'm the lady with the broom Sweeping the halls of your son's preschool I'm the soldier who's up all night Making sure everything's alright And if you ask me, I'm quite fine Being an ordinary person, doing what's right Yesterday at the football game A little girl asked me my name She said, sir, I've seen you before Tell me, who are you? I said, I am a legend that you never heard of before Said I am a lion But you never heard me go I am a hero That nobody celebrates But if one person
person remembers my name That means on the ocean of fame I'm an unknown sailor I'm the percussionist playing with the whalers The one with the shaker, the mover and shaker My name wasn't on the front of the paper But me not cater Much more than the worker, the work is greater Creation glorifies creator So all deeds done are in the name of my maker I am a legend That you probably never hear about Words from the lion's mouth I am a hero that nobody celebrates But if one person remembers my name Praise that means I made a change. Ordinary person just like you If you take a look inside You see the great things that people do We out here changing lives Day and night, day in, day out BBC don't show it CNN don't show it He's out <laughs> 